Hi friends, welcome to my channel. Today we are going to see what is mean by spanning tree protocol, how it will prevent the loop in layer 2 switches. Okay, I am going to give you a demo by connecting two switches uh, without redundant cable and with redundant cable. Okay, now I am going to connect only one cable. If you are connecting only one cable, the loop will not occur because the packet will forward to only one port. But if you connected the second one, automatically the broadcast packet will forward to all other ports. Mm. It will create a loop. Before knowing about spanning tree, you sh should know about the five states. That is blocking, dis blocking, 20 seconds, listening, 15 seconds, learning, 15 seconds and forwarding. Before the packet forwarding, it will wait for this 45 seconds. STP will operate in 802.1D IEEE standard, which will prevent the loop in all layer 2 switches. Okay. Now we will go to the lab. I connected only one switch, only one uh, two switches with one cable, so there won't be loop will not happen. But the STP election will happen whenever you connected the switch. I am going to show you how it will happen, how it will works. Okay, just I am connecting a, a switch one uh, for a notation, host name. Okay, you, you click a show spanning tree command. Okay, it will show you the root ID, bridge ID. Okay, and it will the first ID, it will show what is the root ID, and it second one is a bridge ID. Bridge priorities or default priorities 3 to 768. The address is a MAC address of the bridge ID. Okay, this switch MAC address. And this will be the role. Allow time is a 2 seconds. Maximum age forward delay is 15 seconds. Okay. And then the port will, yeah, I am going to the second switch. Okay. That will be erected as a root bridge. You can see. I am, I am changing into switch 2 for a identity. You can see that will be elected as a root bridge. The root ID, bridge ID, you should know because the root election, root bridge election will take place based on the root ID only. See, this bridge is selected as a root. Okay. Priority is same. Okay. The address will be the root bridge address. If you see that root bridge ID and bridge ID will be same in this switch because this is a root bridge. Okay. So, if you see the two switches, how it will be elected means all priority is same, but the second switch will be elected as a bridge ID. The reason is you can see the MAC address of root ID is same at both switch. The first session will show you the root ID of the bridge, root bridge. Okay. How it was second switch was selected as a root bridge. You can see the MAC address. The triple zero one it will start. This is double zero E zero. So the lowest bridge MAC address will selected as the root bridge ID. So what will happen if always the MAC ID will not same? Okay, always the lowest bridge back ID will be elected as a root bridge. Right? The bridge ID root ID is the combination of bridge ID plus port priority. Default port priority is 128. And the cost will depends on the interface. If you see that I connected another switch, automatically the one of the port will move into blocking state. Okay, because the it, it is preventing the layer layer two mechanism. If you see that all ports is a designated port. Okay, in the root bridge, all port will be always designated port only. Okay, there is a three type of port is there. You you should know about that. What is the root port, designated port or non-designated port? That is a blocked port. The root port is nothing but the path to the root bridge. If any ports connected towards the path uh, root bridge, that port will be considered as a root port. In this case, which one? One of the port is root port because it is connected to the root bridge. So if you, if you see any port as a root port, root port in the switch, then means that means it is connected the directly connected to the root bridge. The one of the port is connected to root bridge. Always root bridge you will you will see only the designated port. 
okay there is a designated port that will be in the root bridge root port is connected towards the root bridge alternate port that is a blocking port that is one port which port is blocked to prevent the loop runnings cost is nothing but it depends on the interface first uh, ethernet interface it will be 19 gig ethernet one and Ethernet it will be 4 and 10 gig it will be 2 you can read the cost cost for each port so all this factor will be considered to prevent a loop preventing mechanism okay now I am going to see source spanning tree VLAN 1 I am going to change the priority because I want to make this switch one as a root bridge okay so I am changing the priority of this root bridge okay source P source spanning tree VLAN 1 priority earlier priority is 32768 I am going to reduce the priority but one thing you need to know priority always increase or decrease by 4096 only if I am trying to give some other priority other than that it will not work I am, I am I will show you that okay if you if you give now the priority is 32768 I am going to reduce 4096 that is a 24576 okay it, it is accepted if I am giving something else 2578 see it will not accept the value will be start from 0 to maximum is 61440 you can see that I changed that into 576 almost 40 seconds was gone so automatically the other uh, this switch will become a root bridge you can see that so spanning tree earlier this switch was not root bridge now see you can see this switch became a root, root bridge and the MAC address of this switch is showing us the root bridge I hope you enjoy this video okay we will we will see next uh, lab with respect to spanning tree soon bye see you later subscribe Dinandino, Idimadri, Nalla, content to la videos, Ungalakur. Thank you. Bye.